Hey guys, this is Alicia Costanzo, and welcome back to my channel. I have been ignoring you guys just a little bit, and it's not because I want to, but more because I have been struggling to write this week. I had a day where I didn't write at all, and I mean, I got to watch Joker with my family, which was really good, but I have been, I've just been struggling to write in this book, and I'm not sure why. I like the characters. I I love my characters. I love the ideas, but there's there's still so much world building that I have to do that I don't, a lot of the time don't feel like I know what I'm doing, and I don't like that feeling. Very different than writing my last book, which, you know, is book four out of five. I have known this world since I was 17, so 18 years of knowing this world, and this and the Grapes 2 project is newer. I wrote the first book uh, two years ago, published it two years ago, and I do have to revisit it, which luckily my writer Opaline gave me that opportunity, gave me a reread, and so I'm going to cheat and read my own book, read the first book in the Graves series. But I mean, I'm, get, I'm getting my words in for the majority of it. Yesterday I got words in, and I feel a little bit better about it, but I'm still just... I have new distractions. Well, first, you know, dental distractions. My 16-year-old just got a root canal. I'm pretty sure he's going to start brushing his teeth now, which is good. Uh, so we've spent this weekend and Monday and Tuesday trying to get his teeth fixed. We still have four more appointments, three, four more appointments for that, so that's fun. Just picked up new papers. We broke something important in our house, so we have to replace that, which is always fun when you live paycheck to paycheck and struggling to pay off debt and that type of thing. And one of the projects that I'm distracted by is hopefully something that will make me money. Actually, two things that I've been distracted by hope both will hopefully make me money once freelancing, as I've been talking about a few times. I have a pseudonym that has been pulling my focus a little bit, which is funny because I was supposed to complete the first project at the end of last year, and I've moved that up to the end of this first quarter so I can hopefully complete one every quarter, and I think I have more of a drive to do so and passion to do so, which I think will make it easier now that I've almost finished my first one, like I'm 700 words away from finishing it, that I have a better idea for doing these really short pieces for the blog to help market these medium pieces that I can turn out quickly and hopefully serial release them or quick release them. And then I have an idea for a little bit larger but still like 20 minute read type of thing where I can turn out a lot. I can make sure that it's still good quality because it's me and see if I can't start making a separate income from the rest of the stuff I'm doing to help support the rest of the stuff that I enjoy doing. Not that I don't enjoy this, but I have a little bit more creative flair for it now, a few more ideas and stories in my mind, and now that I've gotten past the hump in the one story, I feel better equipped to do it. So that's where I am right now. I did hit 22,000 words in my new book though, which makes me absolutely excited. I'm gonna keep turning that stuff out, sitting with it daily, because that's what I've learned works for me, is I just have to keep sitting down, keep hitting my word count, and eventually it will all work itself out, it'll all come out, and things, rather than waiting for inspiration, I just have to put the work in. So that is my philosophy on at this point in my life when I get to the, when, when I get to the things where I'm like, oh, I just want, I want to, I don't know. I want to know what I'm doing. It's like a consistent problem in my life. I want to know what I'm doing and I have no idea what that is. But I had something else to say and what was that? Y'all, I'm tired. I wish I could have napped today. But I canceled class on Monday, so I'm going to nap when I get home. This is how I dance, by the way. I've been told I mom dance. I'm a mom. It's fine. So I figured out what I wanted to tell you guys. So the 50 extra words a day that I'm going to write for March, I think I'm going to apply to the new project, new old project, the one that's distracting me, which is really an old project, but I'm going to be creating new ones too. It's a, it's a line uh, production, I guess. Uh, I'm going to use the, that challenge while I'm adding the 500 words, so I'm doubling what I'm going to be writing in Lily Graves, I will be putting those extra 50 words into what I call my Autumn Lishki uh, series. So I think that will work out pretty well, and it's, it's meeting my challenges and motivating me at the same time to work on something that I should have been working on this whole time. So there's my update. 
I will show you how I do tonight when I'm writing and where I'm at and all those other things. So, yeah, I'll see you in a bit. Okay, this is what I'm doing currently. I am reformatting a document, watching books with Lala. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Oh, aren't you? You're getting me off. You're getting me off. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> This is my neighbor's dog. He was just walking with me around my yard. He peed on the tall grass. And I suppose now that he's claimed his spot, he's back to his own yard. What's you doing, Pop? even though we have neighbors pretty darn close to us. Just how pretty the landscape is around here. It's windy though. Yeah. Guys, I am so excited. I ordered my dice for my game and they came. I want to show you what they look like because they're pretty as shit. Okay, I'm gonna turn turn you around to, yeah. All right guys, this is the bag. I should probably do this right-handed. Not only is it my dominant hand, but it won't be in the way of the light. All right. This is my 12-sided die. Oh, look at how the sun hits it. I got this last night, so I didn't really get to record or see it in the sun. Man, that's pretty. Then I got two sixes. Oh and the fun thing is, is that these, the numbers, nearly identical to the color on my wall. It's amazing. I don't know if I can, if I can show you this. It's amazing. And they kind of match my cup. I have a theme. If you can't tell. Give me my background. <laughs> Hi guys. Alright, so let me be honest with you. Not that I haven't been honest with you. But I'm still struggling to write. I don't know where my motivation has gone. Last year, this time, I was just like cranking out words. Was ready to get into my 500. Well, it's March 1st. I'm not ready for 500 words. 550 words because of my challenge. So. I guess I'm just going to have to jump myself back in there. As soon as I'm done with this book reading. I'm going to reread my first book in my in the series. In the Graves world. So that I think. I really think that's going to help. And it's not going to take me very long to read that book. Because it's mine. A um, couple days. Maybe a week. And. I'm, I really hope it gets me back in the mood. And it's not like I'm not in the mood to write. Although when I wait till the end of the day, if you've seen my writing routine video, which I originally wanted to write in the mornings, but because of life, I write at night and it seems to work that way, or it has been for quite, quite a while. But the last week, it's just not been working. And that may just be stress. stress. Might just be stress because we've had a 16-year-old with a root canal. We've had multiple deaths, we've had multiple sicknesses, we've had multiple issues with the house and other things and, and family, and just, in this house, we need to get out of this house. And guess who is the, has the only opportunity to make money in this house, because my, again, my husband's disabled, he's on a fixed income, it's never going to really change. It does rise with inflation a little bit, but otherwise, any chance of getting a better life out of this house is on me to make that money. So, I think that might be what's pressuring me so much because I'm trying to 
start another business on top of the two I already have. So, something that hopefully will make me money, and I'm trying, and I'm just... I am trying to channel the universe to please motivate me, give me up the opportunities that I need, that all of my hard work will pay off, so we can get out of this house. It's been windy, and when it's windy, it's scary here, so... Yep. Yep. Alright. I suppose I'm gonna go get to work. Hey guys, in the bathroom again, because crazy gaming going on in my living room at 10 o'clock at night. Whatever. Don't care. Just finished with my work and stuff. Grading papers took a really long time. Not for any specific reason. Just tired. But I did get my writing in today. I got 575 words. I got my writing done yesterday. 600 and something words. So I'm finding that the extra 250 words in the one book is not being that much of a struggle. Like, what is going on? I've been struggling. I've been struggling. I've still been hitting my word count pretty consistently. But last two days, the 500 wasn't really too bad of a struggle. Maybe I'm hitting my stride. That's what I'm hoping for. I also got 136 or so, and then another 50 today in the other work that I'm, the other piece that I'm trying to finish, which I only have like 250 or 300 more words left to finish. But I got my 50 in and I went, I'm done. So, rating update for the day. I need to go make the boy lunch now. Yep. Hey guys. So writing, I just want to update you because last night was really loud and really busy in my house, but I got 750 words written, 200 in the one I was supposed to write a 50 in, and 550 in the one that I'm supposed to be writing in, which I'm supposed to be hitting 500, and I don't know how I'm doing it, but they say practice makes perfect, and then I'm just going to keep practicing, keep working on it, so, Tina, yeah. I'm feeling good right now. Chapter 15, 24,000 words. We'll see what happens. I feel like we need, I feel like I focus too much on our school stuff and our student council stuff, but I'll figure it out. Tonight, Rapai has been commissioned by a handful of big companies like Boeing and Acura to break the code on luxury. I don't believe what people say. So some people listen, to what they say, and they say, do you want to buy that? Do you want to do this? And I don't believe what people say. I want to understand why they do what they do. I found this word, and with that, I want to understand you guys. This is the word, the right spelling. Hello, lovelies. I wave at you like every time I turn on the camera. I don't know why I do that. I'm a weirdo. But I want to talk a little bit about writing. I keep going back to, I don't know what I'm doing, I don't know what I'm doing, I don't know what I'm doing. Which is funny, because I have outlined and outlined and outlined and planned and outlined and planned and outlined and planned. And as I was writing this last week, I realized that something was not right with my outline. It was out of order. So, I did something that I never do, and I wrote something out of order. Now, I think I was three, two or three pages into this chapter before I realized I'm doing a lot of the same themed scenes in a row. Granted, they're all progressing forward on that storyline, but I need some other stuff too to break up the monotony of student council and student council activities and being student council president and hating being in charge and all those things that my character is going through currently. So, after like two more chapters of the same storyline progressing, which I mean is the main storyline because it's the epitome of where the mystery keeps happening, but it's here nor there. So, I took a chapter that was like three chapters ahead and went, why haven't I done this yet? Is there a good reason? And plopped it over. And I just finished that chapter last night. And I'm feeling a lot better about moving on. But I think I still need another chapter in between there. 
the one I just wrote and the one I'm trying or I started writing and I'm getting to and I don't think I have enough of her personal life in there right now so I'm thinking her uncle her dad she should probably have a conversation with a meaningful one the one that lasts more than just the summary of hey yeah I talked to my uncle or how I talked to my dad but an actual interaction with them um, another actual interaction with Adam, her mentor, in the case files that he's got her working on. The um, Some of them are cold cases, some of them are solved cases. She's learning how to do that shit. So, she's got those to study, which is another interesting storyline that I hadn't really had figured out until I started writing it. Totally into it pretty excited to get there so I think I might do one of those chapters before I move on to it's essentially a student parent fundraiser activity for the school um, and then the chapter before that I wrote was her breaking orders that everybody to get the shit done so it needs it needs time to marinate and so I think I also want to do a bit of time with her and Star I just did her and Evan so her and Star need some time Maybe her and her number two need a little bit more time. Definitely Adam. Definitely parentage stuff. And definitely a little bit about thinking about her mom. Yeah, that's what I'm... That's what I'm thinking currently. So. That's my goal for tonight. I will let you know what I get done. And before I wrap this up, because, yeah. This needs to go up soon. <laughs> I mean, I have like four videos I'm working on currently. Because I'm crazy. That. Grading. An anthology. Writing my own book. Trying to read. Trying to spend time with the family. Trying to do the shopping and the cooking. And figuring out my new business. I'm launching, in, launching two. Two small new businesses. Oh my god. What is wrong with me? On that note. I just gave myself a whole slew of anxiety. I'm gonna go get to work. Yes. <sighs> Here's my late at night update. I didn't write yesterday like I said I was going to, so last minute me. I did get my words in. Feeling it. She's talking to her dad. Got my shit going. Liking it. So, the plan is working. That's what I wanted to say. Also started a new story for the other name to get my 50 words in to keep on with that. Keep it on. So, I did miss a day of writing, but oh well. Anyways, not gonna babble. Please let me know how you have been doing in life. Are you busy? Are you anxious? Are you killing it? I hope you're killing it. Um, let me know how things are going. Again, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.